<laughs> oh my god. Okay, when I was like seven. Yeah. Um. My parents, uh, we always had a Christmas tree. We, for a long time, we used a live Christmas tree before, you know. Is this a real story or is this like. This is like a real story. Okay. Um, I will not doubt. Well, they always had, you know, those stands, like the little, the, like, wrought iron stands with like, yeah. the, uh, the circle base for the water and everything for the tree yeah. to keep it alive. Well, in order to keep it from, like, rocking back and forth, because it always gets kind of weird, weirdly balanced with the, uh, like, ornaments and. Yeah. And the, the, the lights and uh. everything, it kind of makes it a little uh, rickety. So, in order to get it balanced out, I think I was in the younger ones, they put one of my favorite books underneath it. Um, like under one of the legs to yeah. keep it nice and flat. Well, I, was, I think I was like, damn it, I had to be younger. Because I went to go grab my book and I pulled it out from underneath the tree and the whole tree came crashing <laughs> down on me. I was pinned! Damn I was it. literally pinned by this fucking tree. Why did they use that book? So I, I must have been something at hand. They're probably like, oh, he probably doesn't care about this one anymore. Lies. I do care. I care about it the most of all. No, no, yeah, do some, do some damage. All right. Okay. That was the other thing I tried to do is like roll through the legs and just smack them around a bit. Yeah. But it didn't really work. He turned around and smacked me pretty bad. Yeah. He likes to smack. Ah, Mo I'm, most of his so attacks involve smacking. Smacking. <laughs> most of my attacks involve so me eating a Christmas tree. So you were just underneath a Christmas tree. I was tree? hidden under a Christmas tree, so I started, I started going, oh, "Mom, help me!" Yeah. And he's like, "Chris, where are you?" <laughs> Tree. The tree, the mom, the tree. To this day, my entire family cracks up whenever we start talking about that. Anyway. <laughs> You're like, that's funny. So that wrote, tree was really heavy. In uh, this is like back in school. I, I wrote a song. It was a Christmas tree, a oh, Christmas tree. If I ever did, you fall on me. <laughs> and it was a true story. Like all true stories. They like all true happen. stories. It was a true story. <laughs> So that was a true story. Here's one that's <laughs> not true. <laughs> what? Here's a made-up story about Here's me. Here's a story that I completely made up. When I was uh, Here's 42... Here's another story that I prepared earlier. When I was 42 and I was living in the <laughs> Old West, uh, my favorite uh, oxen, uh, Bessie. Yeah. I like um, Bessie. I didn't like Bessie. The hell I didn't. You if you're going to make up a story, Bessie. I'm going to make my involvement in it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you don't get creative license like that? Fuck you, this is my old West Tale. Well, alright, go for it. So anyway, Sorry. Bessie. <laughs> so Bessie, Bessie was a space ox. Bessie. <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> you don't get to decide. <laughs> By happen chance, she just does happen to be a space oxen, and they had no immediate relation. But that is nothing to what you were you. talking about. But she was a space oxen, and this is the space old West. <laughs> So it's like the new old west, <laughs> <laughs> out in the Mars frontier, back in the asteroid belt. I'm starting to suspect that there's not an end to this story, and you were just making no. it up on the spot. What are you talking about? No. Anyway, so I I, I took my my there was a time when she got out from the, the space yard. Yeah, the force field. Whatever. I call it a space yard. <laughs> I mean, what, if you want to get all technical, sure. Um. And, and so I had to go grab my my trusty space six shooter yeah. ray gun, you know. It only uh, has six shots. Put on my glass reason. helmet, my fishbowl <laughs> helmet. Uh, I'm fucking this up. Healed up his arm. I think you can fuck up his arm. There might be another way to do this. Ah, Jesus. I really apologize. Please tell your story. Anyway, so I had to grab my my trusty ray gun. Yeah. Uh, and go to the local watering hole. Martian watering hole, <laughs> and uh, and get some get some Martian beer. And yeah. Find out what the, the lowdown was, and it turns out that she never left the island at all. God damn it! What I didn't it? say it was a good story. <laughs> well, the setup was so good. Was it? No. It kind of fell apart when you got me obsessed with space. <laughs> it's all your fault. Well, what was it going to be without that? Like I went down to the watering hole, and there there she <laughs> was. She was just drinking a beer at the bar. <laughs> I looked over at her. She looked at me, and she no. <laughs> I was like, what are we doing out here? And she was like, no. I'm like, that doesn't answer my question. 